folks, meet Jane, my talent scout. Because of the many dog pictures we've made, she's been getting a lot of letters lately from people who claim their pups possess remarkable movie talent. However, tips on most good canine talent for short subjects come from booking agents. In scouting the field for me, Jane has watched many a clever bone polisher in her time. Seldom, if ever, however, has she run across a routine that tops this one. There, presenting something new in the way of quadrupedal accomplishment. Pardon? Quadrupedal accomplishment. Why do I mess around with those big words? Janie, you've got something there. And what's more, you've got something here, too. Say, maybe we could train him to bite the guy who writes those singing radio commercials. And now, another canine colossal. Yep, this dog actually walks a tight wire, and that's something new to Janie, and to me, and maybe even to you, I hope. Hup, come on, fella, hold it, attaboy. And here, dear patrons, is something new for the books, a wire-walking woof-woof, a beautifully balanced bowser, a terrific tail-wagger of titanic talents. Well, anyway, he's pretty good, don't you think? Getting back to Janie, what now? Goodness, a twin brother. Isn't he the coy one, especially when there's a talent scout around? He's no fool. Well, Janie's lap is getting another tenant. Come, come, move over, pal. Give your brother a chance to show off for the lady. She's a sucker for pups. And who isn't? Break it up, you little hands. You're crabbing your pappy's act. And now, let's take a peek at the captain's final offering. Here it is, a leap to a swinging trapeze. Ready, huh? Mmm, ain't that something? What a pooch. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure every one of you would like to learn how to do this trick. So, here it is in slow motion. First, you leap from the ground and land on the trapeze with your hind legs, bracing your elbows against the bar and wiggling your ears. Now, pushing against the bar with your hind legs, you'll bring up your forepaws. First your right, then your left. And now, to keep your balance, you stick out your tongue once, and stick out your tongue twice. Okay, Jane, sign him up. What now? Oh, he wants up too. Well, can't show any favoritism. After all, these artists are temperamental, you know. Look at that one kissing Jane. He's no dope either. Seems to be a lot of professional jealousy here. These little guys are pretty tough. What goes? Another pup wants to come up on her lap? Hey, where did you come from, handsome? After all, how many flea bags can a gal hold on her lap? Back in her Hollywood office, Jane has just received a screen test of some more talented doggies. This test, made in New York, discloses the amazing feats of the famous Paul Seidel pooches. Did I say amazing? Well, that's the word for it, don't you think? And if I read that pup's tail correctly, stepping on the boss's beezer is a distinct pleasure. Nice. These pups start their training at the age of three weeks. Through extreme patience, care, and kindness, they learn perfect control of everything but that thing. Come on, hold it. And while on the subject of tails, here's a trick Seidel's worked on for years. And from where I sit, it looks like he's going to work on it for many more years. Watch this. Hold it, pooch. Pretty good, eh? But that's only the beginning. Look, one paw on one thumb, an expertly executed exemplification of inverted equiponderance. Oh, shut my big mouth. In the execution of these stunts, Seidel isn't exactly a disinterested bystander. A former acrobat himself, his great sense of timing and coordination play a vital part in accomplishing these tricks. And now, a complete somersault. Yow, on one foot, 
And that, my friends, places the period after the last word in canine nip-ups. And so Jane has a busy day looking at clever dogs, interviewing enthusiastic people who storm her office with their pets, reading laudatory press notices, and listening to guys who sound like this. You should have caught us in Scranton. We want them everywhere, me and little Jimmy. Little Jimmy? Well, nothing surprises her. And now I want to show you something he really does cute. He does one of the cutest little things. He's so cute. You'll be surprised how cute he is. Why, he does one of these here rollovers here, and then he goes into a half twister. And the first thing you know, I, <laughs> I don't know how I got into this, but he's not supposed to really get you cold me. He just shut him right a while here. Look, I'm trying to tell the lady how good you are, so stop mess. Wait a minute here. Look, you want to get a job, don't you? You know, he just, <laughs> he's just affectionate. <laughs> That's all. Uh, now, <laughs> I don't know. He never did act like this before. Now, here. <laughs> you know, uh, he's just acting up a little bit. He doesn't really. <laughs> he's getting. <laughs> so, stop being so frisky, will you? Now, just a minute here. <laughs> That's it. I guess he must think this is a. <laughs> okay, I don't understand what's the matter. Maybe something in here doesn't agree with him. Yes. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> Look. Be still a minute, will you? I don't know what's the matter with him. Why? <laughs> He'd do anything I tell him before. Then, he's just crawling around. Wait a while. I expect to get a job if you go on like that. Now, just a minute here. Just a second here. Wait a minute here. Now, just a second here. I've got to get on down here. Now, look at here. I've got to get out of here. I've had enough for the day. Trained animal. Everybody wants to show me trained animal. Lady, can I show you a trained animal? Well, goodbye now. <laughs>